The hardest button to button The hardest button to button The hardest button to button How's it going folks? This is Wayne Hart, back with another lesson and we've got an absolutely classic song today by the White Stripes The Hardest Button to Button uh, Found me love for the White Stripes again just lately listening, you know, listening to the Elephant album, great great album uh, and it's funny because you know, back in the day I wasn't really into the White Stripes at the time I don't know, it was, I think there were so many great bands around at the same time they sort of, you know, sort of passed me by but um, I found a lot of love, you know, really respect Jack White as a guitarist, wrote some great, great, sort of really simple, effective songs, and this is one of them. Uh, usually played on, uh, you know, on an electric guitar with a little bit of overdrive on, so you can, you know, do the exactly the same version, but on an electric guitar if you wish to do that. Uh, but this is an acoustic guitar version, obviously, you know, it's the same thing you're doing, I think it still works. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, and really there's like a verse, a pre-chorus, and the chorus, which pretty much use all the same chords, but the sort of different dynamics that we use throughout the song. So the first chord we're going to use is an A power chord, an A5, okay? Now I tend to use one finger just covering the D and the G string, and I'm also going to play the open A string, okay? You could do it with two fingers if you wanted to, um, but I prefer to do it with one finger, so it's, you know, it's left to you okay now the second chord is going to be a, a c5 power chord so i've got my first finger that's on the third fret on the a string third finger fifth fret on the d and my little pinky is on the that's the fifth fret of the g okay we're also gonna move that down you know half a step so that would be a b5 power chord we're also going to use a b flat and we're also going to use it up on the on the fifth fret. That would be a D5, okay? So they're pretty much all the chords that you're going to need. Uh, so I'll just talk about what it does through the verse. So we start off playing that A5 power chord. And I think it's quite effective if you do the intro of a little bit of palm muting. So to palm mute, we use that part of his palm. And we're just going to lightly, when we're strumming, rest that onto the strings. So we get, you know, rather than it ringing out, we're going to get that... Okay, what we do then, we start picking the chord. Okay, and this is the same movement throughout the chords. So we pick the A, the G, D, and then back to the A. So we get this. A, G, D, A. A, D, G, A. Okay, so we got... Then we're going to go to that... Um, C5 power chord that we talked about. We're going to pick, do the, exactly the same thing on the strings. You know, put the A, G, D, A, back to the A. And then we're going to move that down to a, you know, half a step. That's a B5 power chord. And this one, we're going to move up to the D5. So same shape chord, but we're moving up to the fifth fret. Two fingers on the seventh fret. Go through again. Okay, so that runs through the verse with the vocals. The last time he does it before he goes into the pre chorus, instead of doing the D5 at the end, we go to a B flat. So I'll just play that through. So here you go. So we go the B, B flat. Okay, and then we go into this little pre-chorus part. Uh, so we're going to play the A with the first finger. And it's nice to grab the third fret on the low E string, so you get this. Okay, then we go to the C5. Quick slide up to the D5 and back to the C again, so... Okay, and then the chorus, exactly the same chords again, like I say, using the same chords, it's just different dynamics. So now we do stop, so it's like a... 
four downstrokes. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we go back into into the verse again. Okay. Uh, I think there's a different time timing with that towards the end of the song. I think the outro would go like. Okay, uh, and that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all done. That's something a little bit different today. Obviously, it's not you know my normal sort of strum strum along lessons. It's a, a little bit more sort of in depth that like one doing the picking thing. So it's a great new technique to get down. And uh, also, as I said in the intro, I just found a new love for the white stripes. I think just the raw sound and. Uh, at the time, you know, including me, I think they were frowned upon a bit, you know, with just a guitar and a drummer. I thought, how could that work? But, you know, it, it was immense, it worked brilliant. And, and I thought even Meg White was an amazing drummer. Very, very basic, but very tribal what she was doing, you know. And, it, and with Jack's uh, skills on the guitar, I just think it worked really well. So, like I say, um, dig that Elephant album out. What an album, you know, obviously. The big one was Seven Nation Army. Um, but there you go, I actually really like this one as well and I think it works really well on not only on an acoustic, on an electric guitar as well. So uh, there we go, hope you all dug that. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any other requests for anything 50s to modern day that's going to work on an acoustic guitar, I am going to be doing some electric guitar lessons soon. So also, if you want to get your requests in, you can leave a comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter and now also Instagram. So uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow on those platforms anyway, but that way, if you want to, you can ping me a personal message over, you know, requesting a song, and I do always try and reply to messages, you just got to respect, I get hundreds of requests, so we do sort of have to hemp it them a little bit, but don't let that put you off, please do keep your requests coming, because that's what keeps this channel going. Uh, thanks for the continued support, thanks for everyone who subscribed and continues to do so, you know, really means a lot, um, you know, really, really appreciate it. One way that you could help me out is hitting a little notification bell down there. Um, another way, obviously like this video, that would really help me out as well. And please share me videos, you know, please uh, put the word out there. Word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you've got any friends who play guitar, who've recently started or might have been playing a few years and want a little bit of inspiration. So, you know, point them in my direction. I'd really appreciate that. So that just leaves me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching. And I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.